Good morning, good morning, guys. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about basically you're making your first trade. All right, so a lot of people in my family have been asking me, Yo, Neff, how do you do stocks? How do you buy a trade? How do you get started? You know, so I got a couple videos about how to get started. I'm going to link those in the description. But in this video, we're specifically going to go through purchasing your first stock. Okay, so up until this point, you should have already received two free stocks in your trading account if you signed up with my link in the description if you have not i would suggest you go ahead and do that i'll give you guys a few minutes there's a link in the description you go click that and it'll it'll get you two free stocks two free stocks okay so what you guys can do is you put a hundred dollars in your account and then you'll have your two free stocks also delivered to your account and you should be where i'm at i got 144 because i got the hundred dollars i uh, put into the account as well as the as well as the uh, two free stocks okay so you guys are gonna you guys are gonna see pretty much like what we're gonna do today so once you once you have gotten your stocks and you've gotten your money and you've deposited something in there we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so here's are my two free stocks that I got so far I've had plenty of stocks before but I need some more people to go ahead and sign up so I can get some more and help out the channel, all right? And you can also help the channel out by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Under here, you're gonna go to, so we're gonna go to account and you can check out your balance and you can check out how much you got in your account. Make sure you have something in there. Also, if you are banking with someone else and you already have stocks somewhere else and you wanna move them, you can also click this button right here for stock transfers and you can transfer your stocks over to Webull if you're going to use Webull in the new level two deal that they have right now they're giving away two months free on level two so that's up to you if you guys want to do that so I'm going to go ahead and work on buying a share so up here at the top you have your your ticker symbol your ticker and you can type in whatever ticker you want. So if you're trying to buy Apple, you put AAPL, you do a search, and then it's gonna show you the Apple, all right? So right now, Apple's going up. This rise right now is because of the stock split that's coming up soon. Also, Tesla has one as well. So theirs is going up as well. You can see that it shot up. So people are anticipating the stock split, and then that's what's going on with the, uh, with the price. So you have that to look at, look forward to. Okay, and so let's go ahead and work out how we're gonna go about buying a stock. So I wanna buy, I wanna buy some GameStop. Again, I'm trading GameStop is one of my trades that I do. Uh, just the other day I sold a decent amount of GameStop and jumped back in. So that's the see if we can pull up the uh one hour chart let's just check up to see where we are right now so just the other day shot up to here five dollars and 63 i sold it at about 556 and then i bought some more and then it just came down so what i want to do because there's no green here is i want to buy some more guys so we're gonna do we're gonna buy some more so this is how we're gonna make our purchase uh over here you have your buy 100 so they're talking about buying 100 shares at once and you might not want to click that that's for active traders you're gonna just click on trade you can do that and you can type in exactly how many of you of them you want okay so I I have let's see so they're saying 10 of these would be forty six dollars and seventy cent and I can see that right here so we're gonna go ahead and set a limit set a limit to 464 unless I want to buy it at a cheaper price but I kind of want to get it at this price so we're gonna buy 10 like that and we're gonna hit the buy button so that should be that so it says submitted successfully which means that they submitted your order and I'm gonna also do one at 465 just in case that didn't work out and that'll get us some more and then I actually need to see how much money I got you can see our level two and you can see what's going on with the sales 
okay so you can see people buying and selling okay so let's go check out my account see how much money I got left so these are orders they haven't feel oh, did they feel yet one of them feel okay so you can see the feel so when you put your order in they're gonna feel the order based on the price and since my price was 464 for that one it hadn't filled yet I could always go here and modify it if I chose to, to do it for too low so I can modify this and say all right let's just do 465 and then I can replace that order if I wanted to get it to fill it might feel faster if I change the price also we can go back and check out where that price is now 465 so it's gonna let us know if it filled or not and so we got both of those field right here under orders you can check field and it says that we field it so that's that so we got those and I want another 10 so it says I don't have enough sufficient money please cancel your open buy orders if you have any all right so what that means is if you don't have enough money or if you thought that you had enough money but then you bought too many things it may say that you need to close a couple positions that you thought that the, the open orders or any orders that may be outstanding that didn't go through yet so that you can be able to buy and pretty much for the most part you'll be able to figure out exactly how much money you have in your account so that you can go ahead and make that purchase all right so you can always change the screen size here if we bull if it's hard to see if it's hard to read you can make it like that I can always make that smaller make this bigger if I want to see uh, you know more or less the same thing with going up and down on the screen all right so it works on both there's a lot of different things that we can do here so we're gonna we're gonna keep track of that but I want to go back and see where am I at with my account so my cash balance right here is one dollar and twenty six cent which means I can't buy any more of that and we're at four hundred and forty three hundred and forty three dollars in stocks so I have hundred and forty three dollars in stocks right now now this meant that I just so basically I just bought we can go look and see what I bought I bought 26 shares of GameStop in, in Webull. That's what this represents, the 10, 10, and the 6. All right, so I bought 26 shares, and that's pretty much, that's what we bought. So we're holding on to that until it goes up. So if we want to go, I want to go check out the ones I own. So under watch list, I have my positions to see what I got. I got GameStop, that, Plab, and VG, all right? so. I can go check out the stock itself and go see where we are. I can do a five minute chart so I can see what's going on with the price action. Okay, so that's pretty much where we are right now. I might wanna use the Bollinger's and take the VWAP out, take the RSI out, take the moving average out to see where we are. And we're at the bottom of the Bollinger band, so be nice to see we can go back up we're under the moving average let's check volume volume is pretty low from the looks of it let's see so just a couple days ago volume volume was way up here okay and now you can see the volume is really low over here compared to this so volumes low not a lot going on and that's pretty much it you know it's possible that an institution bought up a lot and that was it and then it just came back down people sold they're just getting back out the price came back down so that's where we are in the next two or three weeks we're gonna be having earnings in this company so I'm gonna be expecting to see some type of earnings you can see the earnings always was just headed downward it'd be nice to kind of get you know a decent earnings so that we can 
go back up that way we can get that then if we can get that then we go back upwards like this like it like that that's when the stock price will do the same so that's it for that stock you don't have to buy GameStop you guys can buy whatever you want all you have to do is come up here to the top and to symbol punch in what you want to buy you'll be all set guys I hope this video was helpful if you found any value in it make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, drop a comment if you have any questions all right guys I'll talk to you later peace